some of them up. Honestly, you could even get the time pinched up. Like, who knows in this scenario, right? So, I think you've got a lot to work with here, and I'm curious to see what exactly the game plan is going to be. Right until the end there, we saw the Tarek, but it is going to be the Zion locked in here. So again, good skirmishing power from the side of Red. And now we get to see where all these fantastic champions get to go, who's going where. I do think it is going to be the Gragas in the top okay. side, a, a specialty within the LPL to just mitigate any kind of... And it, honestly, it worked because we saw the Darius being picked up before it realistically needed to be. I'm just laughing at Shao, who was like, you know what, I saw Caps doing this. This actually, this was kind of fun. I'm down to see... <laughs> himself in the top side with Bin team back PP back in should be able to catch the push. Here we go, Zena play comes in. That's gonna be Cheetan flashing forward right onto Gala. First blood. And these are the early skirmishes you talked about that you wanted to see. And it's so good for my guess to get the ball rolling in this bot side. We go but that way back on the spot side. Mm, Cheetan doesn't have flash. Remember he used it to try and engage last time. You'll be slowed down quite a bit by this as you can see now flash forward. Yeah Cheetan he's got nowhere to go. He's got nowhere to hide and that's gonna be Gala and Ming peppering him down to set him up nicely there for Wei. As I said, you can see Chitani wants to give it to anyone else. Anyone else but Wei, but it shall not be done. And now Queen oh, Bingo! Flash, belly, flop, and that is rough for the top side of red. And it's a bit of a Darius flop. But shall not make anything going. Oh, Guigo. He's going to get caught out. He's going to find himself in a bit of a party. There's the explosive cast to bring him right back in. Where are you going, buddy? We all just arrived. And Bin drinks him underneath the table. That is just a well-executed gank by the side of Bin and Wei. And just unfortunate timing for Grev Tired. Actually started to lean bot side, thinking Agus was going to go for play. But now it's RNG. We're actually collapsing on the dragon. Yeah, they're looking to try and get him. He needs to leave. And now Jojo realizes without a flash, he might be in a lot of trouble. Gets knocked up airborne. They're gonna have a stun coming in, but the Destiny Gate goes get popped out. So Jojo still keeping himself alive, and it's traded to the Tom Kent for the Leon. And now Ming keeping Xiao Hu very, very healthy, and Gravdar has to flash away. Xiao Hu going away from his own tower, but you can see Ming just peppering down these health bars. They get the. Oh, nicely done! The Q alongside the collateral damage, and now Xiao uh -oh. Hu, he's gonna try and look for something. They're gonna try and push in the wave. You're caught between a rock and a hard place. I don't think there's many places for you to go, Red. You're gonna have to accept. Your fate, the flash forward, the kills go down, and Shadow Who picks them all up. And suddenly it's 7 to 2 in favor of RNG. Again, these kills a minute in the last two games, staying strong for the LPL representative. The terror. I want to know what these wards are. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've seen it twice now. They dropped down the ward, and I'm not quite sure why. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, anyway, I'm not. I'm trying to keep my eyes on Grevtar because that ult is nerdy up. The wave is pushing out, and you've already committed a lot of members up here topside. On that top side, and that should be the dragon going down. But this looks like a little bit of deja vu. But no, Galen Ming. They're not going to check out the dragon just yet. But oh, Grevtar is in a little bit of trouble. He's getting needlework down. He gets caught out. One Marado attack, and he is snipped apart. Cut through like paper and RNG. They're just picking up the pace. She's already behind the Tam Kench by about 300 gold. It's not really what you want to be seeing, but there's a kick going to be coming in. We're going to see the root come down as well. There's Dawning Shadow, but should not be able to save Ming. To say that the Honey Fruit will delay a little bit more, he'll pick up a ward for his troubles and say, you know what? I got shut down, but I got that vision control. Board, but Aegis is here, will not land the Sonic Wave, but still wants to fully commit to get the Everfrost out and the Flash from Bin. So good moves here from Red. They're not going to go out just yet without a fight. Now, Cheetah, Jesus Christ! I looked at the minimap for like half a second. You looked at a half a second, that's all they needed to absolutely delete his health bar. Now Xiao Hu gonna see the very limits of this Gwen, and the very limits are not very much. As we can see, there's a gold card coming in. Good explosive cast from Bin as he knows he does not have flash, but it's a bit overextended here from RNG. He's gonna flash back to get the stun down. They're gonna be able to lock him up and Wei will be taken out. This is some good momentum from Red, and they're gonna be able to turn that into a dragon as well. They can maybe turn it into a play on bot side as well. RNG sticking around that bit too long. You've got Grift her on the way. Red, what do you want to try and do here? You gotta go for the objective. I think, you know, how difficult it's going to be to take down this uh, Tam Kench and send a combination. But two dragons is still very good for the side of Red and will keep them very competitive in this game. Again, it's only a 3,000 gold lead. It was looking like it was going to get a bit ridiculous, but they're holding their own. They're doing very well to get trade ups rather than trade downs. They will get the result they wanted. Yes, it cost the ultimate at least in, but it's going to cost a little bit more. This is Xiao Hu on Gwen gets the shutdown and he's hungry to keep pushing. You can see him blood in his eyes and Vigor and his scissors as he keeps pushing forward. Jojo recognizing, I'm sorry, Greftar, leave me be. And that's going to be Xiao Hu picking up two kills. But Gala uh -oh. Ming, they don't want to let this one go. Flash forward. Grev Goldcard going to be landed, but the cleanse is there. And Ming picks up his kill. 
This is RNG picking up the base, and there's nothing you can do about and it. And then you got the wave on bot side. They can look to take the tier two. RNG are moving in towards the mid as well. Guigo will be spotted by Gala. The cheats on off on the side. I don't know if they take this. I mean, you're going to have to pop the ghost, but he'll still get tongue lashed here. You might be forced to use your flash as well. No, he's going to get caught out by the devourer. They're going to use that aggressively. Yep. A Darius win conditions looking at a 0 3 0. Not really doing what we thought it would do. And now you can keep going forward. There's the explosive cast. Zang is going to use the smite to try and keep himself alive, but only for a little bit longer. And Ming picks himself up another kill. Now Cheetan uses his ultimate to try and catch out Xiaohu, the heal as well. Because they will not get the blue buff just yet either. So this is just Red having to react, play reactively, because honestly, they're just being pushed back at every single point. The fight's never stopped, Dagda. As Bin wants some more of the action. He's actually going full AP Gragas, so he packs a punch. That belly is full, and now it's dead. As he goes a little bit too far forward, and now Red might fancy themselves a bit of a thing. The Zenith Blade lands, so does the gold card, but you don't really have the damage to push this one in. Flash from Wei, flash from Cheetan, and now we can go back in. the ultimate as well from Grefftar, so they know exactly where they are. Here's the Hex Gates coming in. They Hex it into this fight. It's a long extended play, and they're gonna keep pushing forward on top of it. Guigo can see it. Guigo knows he can look for it, but Guigo is by himself, and that's still a Gwen. We started with the needlework. We'll end with the needlework. It's finally show who gets shut down. Another TP has been joins back with his team, and died to let me take a breath. They don't get to take what has been would not be able to waddle his legs fast enough to catch up with Red. But Red have found a ton of picks. They got try and deal with this 1v1, but it's no longer a 1v1. Peekaboo, I see you now. Guigo needs to try and fully commit to this one here. Has the strike breaker coming in. He's gonna get himself right on top of him as they do get the ultimate down. But this is the Baron coming in, and this is Gwen and Xiaohu with the dawning shadow in a 1v2. It will be a double kill. RNG not to be outdone now, Red. You gotta hope for a Baron steal, but they're not even gonna give it to you. They're gonna look for the fight straight away. Jojo in a lot of trouble as he gets knocked up by the time catch and taken off the rip. Cheetan needs to go for something right now. He's gonna find Gala, but not quite enough damage so tantalizingly close but so unbelievably far away and just as that glimmer of hope was starting to gain some power it gets extinguished by RNG. RNG threw the dog a bone for a little bit but Red Cannons they end up finding themselves losing out across the map. RNG now will chase down Alagus they will crack open the base of Red Cannons and just like that the 9 and O oh, looking good for RNG. They're still going they don't know where he is. He is playing the best game of hide and seek I've ever seen. He's going to try and fully commit onto Ming but he will end up dying and that's going to try and delay some of this and I will say it will delay the Baron take right now but not for very long no, not gonna be for He's Last coming shot. towards the mid lane. Gala's very low for this one here. If you get a couple of resets here with the Darius, Guigo might be able to make something work. The solo player is good. It lands on the two people, but Guigo's been put right in the front of this. He's going to have to get his ultimate off just yet and doesn't get the reset. I admire the opportunity, uh, opportunity of it. I admire the attempt, but it's just not good enough. Xiaohu now looking to chase down Grevtar. Baron in the hands of RNG. A TP to the bot lane. They're hunting for Grevtar. And Aegis as well, as he's gonna try and help out his mid laner. They're gonna get the level 16 Gwen to go into her immunity as Bin has joined up with his team as well. Now with the 2v2, do they find themselves feeling frisky? Bin not gonna land the Everfrost, not gonna commit for the belly bop just yet. And they're just gonna push in the waves. About getting that queue off just be as he went into Run, the Agus. stage. Run, Agus. It's not safe for you. He kicks back. He's ticking down. And oh my lord, this is what Gwen can do. And on the other side, it's a 4v4. There's the explosive pass coming down on top of the dawning shadow. And that's Darius dead. The Leona shall join him in the gray screen. And this is just RNG finally saying this game is over. This group is done. We are the undefeated, no matter how many games we have to play. And Red are just sitting here to watch Cheetah and trying to do something against Bin, but he's just not got the damage at all. Yeah, RNG looking to show G2 that they can do it just as well. An undefeated group for them now, very much set in their eyes as they take down this bottom inhibitor. Gwen with Xiaohu on the top side of the map to take down another inhibitor turret. And look at Ming, he's just trying to clear out the rip buff for himself and say thank you very much, I'll take that. Gotta try and put something forward, give us a show, show us some fireworks as Titan just loses all of his health bar. That was two auto attacks and an 0 
ultimate! It's just absurd! Now Gala's feeling confident, so he's gonna go, right, no one can kill me now! The, 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 the Kraken Slayer's gone! Yeah, Lethality kinda strong. And unfortunately, Cheetons help are not that strong. Now RNG starting to move through, the wave is there, they're feeling it, but is it a repeat of last game where we get the hullabaloo, or can they close this one out? Well, let's find out and see. It is three members of RNG, Wei, Gala, and Bin, keeping everybody away from this inhibitor, and it will be taken by Xiao Hu. Ming just kind of playing off to the wings, making sure he's there and available to not get caught, and also to diss out the healing. Now the waves are finally crashing in here for RNG, and Red need to try and find a way to make this one work. Remember, this is a full AP Gragas, so he is very squishy if he gets caught out. Now with Cheetah and back, they're going to flash in. The explosive cast is good, but they're getting the solar flare, and there's a devourer coming out for Gala. Now they can re-engage on top of this Grevtar, Trying to move forward, but you're losing your base. Shao Hu's not even here. Never mind. He wants to be a part of this party. He's going to TP in and force everyone from Red to back away. This is your final fight, CB Lol. You got to make something happen, but I just don't think you've got it in you. Sadly for you, the wallets from RNG are too damn big. They're too stacked. And you got to try and look for this now 5v4. RNG looking to go undefeated. PSG Talon looking to cry out as they will go to the next stage of MSI. It's going to be it. It's going to be an unofficial 9-0, and an official 6-0 and for RNG as they get the job done. For CB Lol, a salute to you. You made it fun. But at the end of the day, LPL still going to be number one. Yeah, right kind of shown. CB Lol has improved a lot, but unfortunately not enough to take down RNG. Huddled in their base for warmth, the Nexus will fall and Red will exit from MSI. Of course, congratulations.